Let's take a look. We've got a very active afternoon. We'll start off in downtown Albuquerque where we've had some peaks of sunshine throughout the afternoon, but you can see quite a bit of cloud development over toward the Sandias and we are looking at showers in the East Mountains at this point. Right now, mainly dry in the Albuquerque metro area, but we are starting to build the clouds in. And we are looking at quite a crop of storms this afternoon as we have really improved that southerly moisture tap that has been aided by the storm system that's to our north and west. So we are looking at a good crop of storms, especially across central sections right now from the northern mountains all the way down to the Sacramento Mountains as well. We're also seeing a line of those showers extending over toward the Socorro area. And we're also starting to see showers re entering the state across the southwest. You'll notice a lot more shower activity over toward Arizona, and that's going to be pushing into the western portion of the state over the next few hours. So even though the west is getting into a little bit of a break, more showers are on the way, so we continue with our flash flood watches across the western two-thirds of the state. And we do have quite a few flood advisories across central New Mexico due to the showers that are falling right now. 79 degrees, the current temperature in Albuquerque, a southwest wind at 13 miles per hour. Temperatures across the western two-thirds of the state, much cooler thanks to all the cloud cover and the rainfall. We're in the 50s over toward Taos, 64 in Los Alamos, 72 in Santa Fe, down to the south into the 50s for Ruidoso, 60s and 70s elsewhere. Out to the east where we've had a little bit more sunshine, once again, warmer this afternoon, near 90 degrees in Tucumcari, 80 in Roswell and 88 in Carlsbad. We'll spread the picture out. We've got a very good setup across the state to get the showers going with that southerly flow across the state right now. That's out ahead of our storm system, which is sitting out to our north and west. And this storm system is going to cross through southern Colorado over the next 24 to 48 hours. So we'll continue with a good chance at showers and storms through at least the next couple of days. We'll continue the showers that are out there right now through at least the early overnight hours. And we'll continue with another sh uh, crop of showers and storms during the day tomorrow as the storm system continues to get closer to the state. Then, as quickly as the showers develop this week, they are going to start to leave the state toward the end of the week. Thursday, as the storm system departs, we'll hold on to a couple of showers across the northeast, but we really start to work in some drier air across the rest of the state. And that takes hold by Friday, leading to more sunshine on the way for your upcoming holiday weekend. So we're getting the showers now, and it looks like if you have any outdoor plans, for the extended weekend, it's not looking too bad. Southern Colorado for tomorrow highs into the 70s with mostly cloudy skies. Could see a few more storms during the afternoon tomorrow and into early Thursday. Then more sunshine to wrap up the week and start the weekend. Over the northwest, partly sunny skies, scattered afternoon showers and storms once again for tomorrow. Then we'll start to dry things out on Thursday. More sunshine to end the week and temperatures start to warm back up as well near 90 degrees by the weekend. Over the southwest, scattered afternoon showers and storms. Heavy rain possible once again for tomorrow afternoon. Highs into the 80s will start to dry things out and warm back up toward the weekend near 90 degrees by Saturday and Sunday. Over the southeast, partly cloudy skies, some storms a, possible, a possibility once again tomorrow afternoon. We'll start to dry out things toward the end of the week. More sunshine with highs in the mid-90s for the holiday weekend. Over the northeast, partly cloudy skies, more storms for tomorrow afternoon. We'll continue with that storm chance through Thursday as well as that storm system departs. Then we eventually dry out by the weekend with highs returning to the low 80s. Over the northern mountains, we'll continue with scattered showers and storms for tomorrow. Then we start to dry things out toward the end of the week and more sunshine by the weekend. Over the East Mountains, partly cloudy skies, storms possible once again for tomorrow afternoon. Highs in the low 80s in the metro will top out in the mid 80s tomorrow with scattered storms. Once again, a possibility, but we quickly dry things out through Thursday and Friday. And by the weekend, we're looking at lots of sunshine with highs back in the upper 80s. Okay, thanks, John. Yep.